Hey guys, it's Ali. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know I don't post here a lot now. I'm sorry. I've been a little bit busy, um, but I did want to give you guys a little bit of like an update or like kind of like an inside look to my current household, which has been a family um on this channel for pretty much since i started my channel essentially so with that being said i'm actually this video is not live gameplay um like i'm not playing it right now i pre-recorded it like while i was playing and now i'm just doing a voiceover just because i did that one time like i think a year ago and i really enjoyed it i like the vibe of it you know like the cozy kind of gameplay vibes um but yeah, so if you don't know who this guy is, which he's part of uh, like one single family um, that I've had on the channel, this is Javier Richmond. Um, he's part of the Richmonds and this all started with Antonia. Um, oh my God, I forgot her last name for like two seconds. Antonia Mendez. Yeah. Um, so I'll have all those videos and links below. Um, but essentially I have four kids that I'm playing with. These are all the four children of Antonia and Theo Richmond. And essentially I do rotational gameplay, which is like, I'll play one of the kids for like one sim week. And then the next sim week I'll play one of the different kids. And essentially what I'm basically doing is like playing out different storylines, like like every sim week which keeps me like really involved in my gameplay and stuff like that because if i play like with one person only then like i can get um pretty bored pretty easily so yeah this is a little bit of what i do off off the youtube channel and whatnot um so this is javi javi um javier is the oldest of the richmond family um and today is actually valentine's day so he is taking his long-term girlfriend eleanor out on a date now javi and eleanor have been dating since high school they've been together for about four years so um pretty long of a time um and i remember when javi was in high school um he dated uh one of his childhood friends named paulina and they're still friends there's this like huge friend group that they're all really a part of um but javi and paulina didn't really last long because javier had like this weird like uh fear of commitment like when he was growing up he had the single and loving it uh lifestyle trait if you guys know what that is so he him and paulina didn't last long and like throughout all of high school and stuff like that he just was really like averse to committed relationships and stuff so normally when you see you know people wanting to experiment with that kind of stuff in high school and having relationships and stuff oh by the way they were at the fair and now they're at um a diner <laughs> i'm sorry they went so fast um but essentially he's been with eleanor for four years they're high school sweethearts and there's a little bit of pressure here um to put a ring on it okay eleanor's kind of pushing it um eleanor's family is kind of pushing it eleanor's actually adopted um which i think is cool um because antonia was essentially adopted too um this is javier's mother who was adopted um but here they are at a diner and Javier actually lives in San Myshuno, but he's thinking about um, moving to a trailer in Strangerville because he is actually, um, he like grows cannabis and it's illegal in San Myshuno and so he wants to move to Strangerville where it is legal, obviously because it's Strangerville, it's like everything is like illegal. <laughs> um, but right here, so it's Valentine's Day and he took Eleanor out to the fair um, and now they're in a diner and he's asking eleanor here at this diner if she would like to move in with him when he moves into this new trailer and it he he does love her and he wants her to be a part of his life in this way but there's almost like this like little bit of a feeling that he's just doing this to appease eleanor and to appease you know society and eleanor's family um rather than like truly like wanting to build a future if that makes sense like he really loves her a lot um and so it's just it's a little confusing but here they are back at eleanor's apartment for the night um and next to them is eleanor's roommate marissa and marissa doesn't like javier because marissa <laughs> doesn't like how javier has like been so hesitant to like 
actually commit to Eleanor and like put a ring on it. You know what I'm saying? Because Marissa and Eleanor, not only are they roommates, but they're also best friends. Um, so that's a little bit of the tea. I know that went so fast. And like, if you don't know this family, you're probably like, what the hell just happened? I'm so sorry. <laughs> but if you guys didn't see at the diner, um, Javier is a good man. This guy like sat next to Eleanor and like tried to flirt with her at the diner. And I guess the guy didn't think or didn't know that Javier was um, her boyfriend. So I had Javier do like the mean intro or rude introduction and then right before um because he was like yo man like she clearly doesn't want to talk to you like we're on a date can you please chill like back off because the dude was being a little creepy and like trying to you know be like hey honey how are you like it's so weird um and then i was gonna have him argue with the dude but the dude got up and left so i guess the dude was like okay well i guess i'm not <laughs> i'm not getting this girl tonight and this guy's you know bothering me so i'm just gonna walk away so javier is still a good person and javier still loves eleanor deeply i mean they've been together for four years it's just it's a little hard because he does not feel that pull towards marriage right now and i think eleanor really truly wants that and it's caused a little bit of tension in their relationship like if you guys saw in the beginning um they were arguing right off the bat so that's that with them and now we're going to be switching over to delaney my girl delaney so delaney is the second born richmond child and she actually has her fair share of relationship problems which i will get to in just a second um but she lives in san mishuna right now and she's actually an aspiring artist she's written a couple songs and she's getting pretty up pretty up there um uploading all her stuff to spotify and whatnot um but i love delaney so much she really she has a soft spot in my heart so delaney um is actually currently dating somebody that she knew from high school as well um in their friend group his name is raul which we will see in a second but right now she's actually um with her best friend taylor elkins and you'll see in just a little bit that taylor has a little bit of like a romance bar also delaney and Raul felt they're not best friends anymore which i will get into that um because they just became best friends um but delaney actually met uh, this girl Taylor in college and they formed a really 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 strong bond here right um, and Delaney throughout college she was wrestling um, with like the idea of her sexuality she wasn't quite sure she was questioning and all that stuff and her and Taylor became really really good friends now Taylor um, is bisexual and i do believe that's obviously that's what um delaney is as well but throughout now she's been dating raul for a couple of years as well but throughout her friendship with taylor um they've gotten really close and delaney has started to um feel a little bit of feelings for taylor and and kind of starting to fall and but i don't think she recognizes it that way and i think um she's uh both afraid of her future with her and raul um because she does love Raul and um her friendship with Taylor and how that's gonna work out so she's, essentially she's like feeling these feelings for Taylor but she's pushing them to the side if that makes sense um because she she's just kind of brushing them off and kind of being like okay well I'm just now discovering my sexuality so of you know of course I'm going to have these feelings for my friend when in essence that's not reality you know that's not how it works that's not how sexuality works um I would know you know um so actually she was hanging out with Taylor and Raul was like want me to come see you I want to stop by and um Delaney tried to say no I'm actually with Taylor right now um and essentially what they were going to do today um is kind of figure out um if they could become like a music duo together because delaney um and taylor's voices really mesh well together and that's what they were going to do but then raul calls her and is like delaney are you home do you want to spend some time together and then she and then raul actually ends up coming to her apartment unannounced while she was with taylor and normally like this wouldn't be an issue but delaney has this thing about like she does not like people coming over unannounced um and Raul has done this before and so she's kind of set that boundary beforehand like hey Raul um you know please don't come over unannounced and to Raul it almost felt like a, like a shot in the back because he was like why does my own girlfriend not want me to come home and ounce um we've been together for years but it's just something that Delaney has um 
you know set a boundary and raul keeps you know coming over unannounced and it's just it's really getting to her because you know she needs to be prepared when somebody's going to come over it doesn't matter who it is so here she is she had to um she was like be right back taylor i think raul was at the house and she had to come here and kind of tell raul like what like i've set this boundary with you multiple times why is this happening and i've noticed that you know as delaney's relationship progresses with taylor it's like she's got this weird delaney's got this like weird resentment like deep-seated resentment going on with raul and i don't think it's raul's fault i think that because delaney is just now coming to terms with her sexuality um she might not feel like she has the freedom to explore it at this time because she is very much monogamous um but later on when raul left and taylor left um she's out here on her balcony she decided to call raul because she felt bad of course they've been together for a couple years and um like like javier and Eleanor you know Delaney loves Raul very much but it's starting to feel like a friendship love that it is romantic and I think that is really saddening Delaney and she's freaking out so she's trying to push these feelings aside like no like I don't like Taylor she's my best friend I'm in love with Raul it is what it is okay so there's that um and we'll just have to see how that goes but <laughs> i literally did not plan this at all but delaney's dad theo so antonio's husband actually um came by which he said he was going to he texted delaney and said he was going to because he had to drop off some things from the house <laughs> so this is not an issue for delaney because theo obviously told her that he was coming but this is her Hello. dad gosh oh, i love him to death he's a native <laughs> of mount kamarebi so he um loves to go there he's taken the whole family on trips there multiple times um so all the kids kind of have that um mount kamarebi ancestry but here they are in just in just a second um you're gonna see theo scare delaney right here yeah and that just goes to show their relationship like i love these two to death she really she was a daddy's girl from like the first moment on now um they're gonna take a picture really quick but there are two other richmond kids and they're actually still in high school living with um theo and antonia um they are andrea and gabe gabriel so i'll have to show them maybe in a later video but yeah i love their relationship so much it's so pure i literally love it um but this is going to be i think the end of the current household for now i'm sorry i didn't get too in depth i just kind of wanted to show you guys where everybody's at or not everybody but at least the two eldest kids so um thank you guys for watching and let me know if you want to see like something you know similar or more of these videos so yeah i will catch y'all later bye